first full year doing this over 90 games plus. And, uh, what are you going to take away from uh, having a full campaign underneath your belt now? Yeah, you kind of know what it's like, and um, you know, got got some good experience. You know, playing a full year, seeing how you know hard that is, getting a little playoff experience. So, um, you know, stuff you can look at and see what you need to do in the summer, and uh, you know, coming in next year with some more confidence that you kind of know what what to expect. What's some area that you're going to look to to improve on coming back for? You know. Um, probably everything if I can, um, you know, putting on more weight, obviously, um, you know, my skating, keep getting my skating better, my edges, you know, yeah. You mentioned the weight part. Did you feel like at times um, you were pushed around a little bit and that adapting to the league at this level at 20 years old, that that was something that um, you would like to see a little bit more of out of yourself? Yeah, I would love more weight. <laughs> it'd be great. I think it'd be great for, you know, being in the corners, holding guys off my back. Um, you know, a lot of benefits for it. I think more muscle in my legs, too, make me look faster. So um, I don't think there's really many downsides to it. But, um, you know, it's just time and, you know, putting in the work in the summer. So hopefully that'll, you know, work out. What was, what was the most amount of games you played in a season before this year? I would say probably 50, but not like college seasons, probably high 30s, but then also like international and stuff. So I say 50 probably. Did it feel like 90 some games? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> At the towards the end there, yeah. Uh, well, after after regular season, we were we were feeling pretty good, and then playoffs is tough because it's just like every other day and you're just going. So, but you get in a groove, like everything. Did, did you feel like teams started to, to target you and try to come at you a little bit more as the season kind of went on and they got used to seeing you produce at, at that level like you were early in the year? Yeah, maybe a little bit. I would say probably flew under the radar a little bit more in, earlier in the season. So, um, you know, probably a little bit easier. But, um, you know, it's pretty pretty cool when you, when you see that or hear that, you know, that you're getting – I mean, it's not good to get targeted, but it's, it's also pretty cool. So, sign of respect. Yeah. Which was uh, tougher, the grind, the physical or the mental? Um, you know, both both was both was tough. Um, you know, physically, um, probably early on, earlier on, you know, just getting used to it. But um, you know, mentally throughout the season, there's always times where you know, things aren't going your way, you're not getting the bounces, uh, you're not playing your best hockey, you know, things like that. Everyone has it, so, um, you know, you just got to stay mentally tough and, you know, not not get too worried about it. Know your, you know, remind yourself, you know, I'm a, I'm a good player, <laughs> I got this. And, uh, you know, you can always lean on your teammates, which we got a great group of guys here. So, um, you know, I don't think it was, it was too tough because, you know, I was still kind of just – you know, having fun in my first year, so that was that was good. But um, it's definitely definitely tough and dif different for every guy. Yeah. And by the way, if you need help putting on weight, come see me. All right. Uh, <laughs> I know. Yeah, you just my it. mom, <laughs> my my parents always say that they're like, you. I eat a bowl of ice cream and I gain ten pounds, and you eat it and you lose weight. I'm like, <laughs> I know. Okay. You just mentioned it. What was it like living the dream? Assuming this was the dream. It was fun a lot of fun yeah you can't you know you get to play hockey and you know make money doing it so it's <laughs> it's, it's pretty great and you you know the fans here were were super fun and you know more than you know I would have imagined and could have asked for so that was that was great especially you know earlier here in the season they're at practices they're at you know every game so it was it was great Will the next month be spent just in an absolute blind panic over whether you're going to win the Calder? <laughs> no, no. I'm going to go home and I'm, I'm going to relax. Um, I'm going to go on my boat. I'm going to see my family. What, what would it mean to you if you, if you do get named the Calder Trophy winner? Yeah, you know, it'd be, be very, um, you know, cool. <laughs> very, very nice, and you know, I'd be very humbled and. It'd be, you know, you know, good kind of marker and, you know, cool for 
the guys in our team to see what they, you know, really what they, you know, helped us, help me accomplish. So, um, you know, a lot of credit to them. And, you know, I don't, I don't think about it too much, to be honest. Maddie, so. I say this as a compliment. Are you kind of almost ready to be done with this is your first year topics and questions? Are you ready to just win the game? <laughs> I'm ready, uh, ready for summer, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you were ahead of the curve last year, maybe the first person to predict a playoff berth for this team when you t told Ebbs, like, we're going to be a playoff team, you know? Mm -hmm. Where do you think this team's headed next? I mean, what's the next step for this group? <laughs> <laughs> predict it early. <laughs> yeah. No, those are more like, I like my closed-door predictions, but, gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah, I mean, you never know what's going to happen in any season, but I think that, you know, we all – Got a taste of playoffs this year. That was my first taste. I know a lot of guys have been there on this team, but um, you know, there's a lot of guys that are craving to be back. And you know, I'm definitely sure that there's a lot of sour taste in every guy's mouth that we're not still still going. So um, you know, we want to be we want to be right back where we were and and uh, you know try to keep going. Abby, last exit day, you were very candid about. The food spots here in town, what you could find, what you couldn't find. Now you have a year under your belt. Any, any new spots that, that you can recommend? And have you gotten used to Seattle by now? Yeah, we've got you know got used to Seattle probably a little bit more. Um, you know, more restaurants in Bellevue, I'd say, because um, it's just closer to us. So, um, yeah, we we go to Carmine's a good amount. That's probably our go-to spot. We've heard a lot about Will Borgen's growth as a player this year. How's he grown as a roommate? <laughs> um, gotta hold my tongue. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he's been great. Um, he's been super helpful um, from, like, so many little things, but to, uh, you know, making sure I have all my stuff or, <laughs> you know, making sure I'm on time. I mean, I'm not not lost without him but he's he's obviously been so helpful and it's just been fun to you know you go to a brand new s team you go to a brand new s place living you know uh, first time probably living on my own uh, other than college so and having him there was you know just super fun and then also uh you know really helpful who ends the season as mario kart champion <clears throat> me me definitely no doubt <laughs> thanks, thanks man thanks, thanks. thank you